Hi, Gabby. Hi, Dave. Let's talk about climate and Earth system models. They are very complex bits of computer code that allow us to understand the Earth system and to project future climate. The model results serve as the basis for climate research around the world. The World Climate Research Program organizes an intercomparison project so that scientists can share and compare their models. Yes, we call this CMIP, the Coupled Model Intercomparison Project. It involves more than 30 groups around the world, um, more than a thousand researchers, and probably produces of order 20 to 40 petabytes. CMIP also sets standards and specifies experimental protocols. By following these and by using the same climate change scenarios, the climate outputs can be analyzed collectively, resulting in better climate projections. The CMIP models are also key to international climate assessments and negotiations, such as, for example, the IPCC assessment reports. CMIP outcomes are used for understanding climate change impacts. For example, precipitation, which is critical to agriculture and to human living conditions. And also, for example, the changes in the biogeochemistry of the oceans are critical for fisheries, and particularly ocean acidification, which has severe effects on coral reefs. Let's look at outcomes of CMIP models. On the spinning globes, we see the temperature difference relative to an average of 1986 to 2005. By using the CMIP multi-model ensemble, we can produce a more robust product. The clear colors show us a robust outcome for the temperature change, while the gray colors indicate areas where the temperature change is smaller than natural variability. So we still have some uncertainty. Yes, we still have some uncertainty, but the models clearly show us two different futures. On the left we see an optimistic future with low carbon, high renewables and strong international cooperation. And on the right we see high fossil fuel use, low renewables and fragmented cooperation. Ah, sort of business as usual. Yes. But the CMIP models show us our very clear choices for future climate. Currently the sixth phase, CMIP 6, is underway. All right, what is the new or has been improved? Many of the models will run at higher resolution or will include additional processes that were not simulated in the previous models. And new CMIP evaluation tools allow researchers to analyze the data. We also improve the infrastructure and the documentation to help them find what they're looking for. And how do we ensure consistency within CMIP-6 and with prior and future phases? Well, each group runs historical simulations and a handful of common basic experiments organized through the so-called DEC experiments. Diagnostic. Evaluation. Characterization. Of CLIMA experiments. How many projects participate in CMIP-6? More than 30 groups around the world have registered their models. We have 21 model intercomparison projects endorsed by the CMIP panel based on their relevance to the grand challenges of the World Climate Research Program and to the fundamental science questions of CMIP 6. CMIP 6 also allows more freedom to the modeling groups by uncoupling the research experiments from a fixed IPCC deadline. In that way, we offer flexibility to our researchers but remain highly relevant to international assessments. We expect CMIP-6 to continue the CMIP tradition of major scientific advances and are looking forward to the results. Yes, the CMIP process and products represent one of society's most important sources of high quality and reliable climate information.